Hi. Question? I feel great. This is exciting. I'm ending the Tom Joyner Morning Show, and this tops it. This is the best. Best, best thing that ever happened at the end of my career. Hi, Mr. Joyner. My name is Shani with 24 Flicks in Orlando, Florida. Hey. I know you mentioned, obviously, that you're ending the Tom Joyner Morning Show. Yes. They mentioned so many things that you've done for the community, for the world, in radio. Uh -huh. What is maybe the one thing that you would want your legacy to be seen as? Ooh, sounds like a eulogy question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just retiring. I'm not dying. <laughs> <laughs> not that at all. But I mean, everyone else has an idea of what they believe your legacy is, but it's more so what do you believe your legacy is? I believe my legacy is going to be that I helped a lot of students get through school at historically black colleges and universities. Absolutely. To date, we've done more than 29,000 uh, scholarships. We've raised over $65 million to help students stay in school at historically black colleges. I come from a town called Tuskegee, you might have heard of it, yeah. rich in black history and the home of uh, Tuskegee University. And that's what we do. Uh, that's what black colleges do. We nurture students for success. And if someone believes you're going to succeed, more than likely, you will. Absolutely. Thank you so much. <laughs> OK. Hello. Hello, how are you? My name Good. is Anisha Laverne Grant. I'm a graduate of Cheney University of Pennsylvania, founded in 1837. I know it well. Yes, if our university doesn't raise $4 million by June, our university will close. Mm. You speak about you know, being an advocate for historical black colleges and university, yet my university remains somewhere bottom on a list when it comes to getting properly advocated for. What can you do to help shed light and to speak to the collective work and responsibility to help safeguard the oldest HBCU founded in 1837 where the late Ed Bradley um, graduated from. I mean, it would be devastating for this university to close. We often speak of Spelman, Morehouse, Howard, but rarely ever do I hear Cheney University of Pennsylvania in the narrative about historical black colleges and universities. Well, I can't, I can't speak to that because we represent all 100 and what is it now, 103, 104 historically because black colleges. Because the list is dwindling. The list is, the, because the list is dwindling. There's yes, the list more. is dwindling. It's like Bennett was just, or yeah, Bennett had to raise a few million. So it's just like. And we've raised, and, and we've raised a lot of money to help schools uh, like Cheney. Uh, we've donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to Cheney. And all of the historically black colleges have the, have, have the same needs and wants and could use, could use a, a big shot in the arm when it comes to, when it comes to finances. Um, I'm going to continue to do that till the day I die. And uh, Cheney included. And I'm glad to see you a big advocate of Cheney. That's what we need. We need people like you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Some legends in the room. 